Hi, Scorpio. And I'm also being led to do your reading a different way. I, I wasn't... I, okay, I'm going with it. So let me shuffle. I'm going to shuffle um, either till a card flips out or one more time after this for Scorpio. Well, there we go. Card just flipped out. So we have the Three of Wands. So um, this could be that you are dealing with a Leo, Aries, a Sagittarius, but this could also be having to make a decision regarding love or also regarding a business situation. Um, because it's almost like, you know, you're waiting for some type of an arrival or some type of news or some type of shipment. Now, I'm also getting that there may be a delay on a shipment or arrival or travel because I am getting that some of you are wanting, like I feel like you're, you're boxed in or possibly stuck with this in reverse. And so I feel like for some of you, this is just a short delay, a uh, temporary delay. Um, huh. I'm getting something with bees. Now, when I think of bees, I think of also honey. And I wonder if somebody is doing something with like honeybees or um, there's a beehive because I'm getting something about sugar, honeycomb, and beehive. Now, if you, you know, most people are probably not going to be watching this and they've got bees or, you know, beehives. So look up the animal totem bee hives or bee, bees, B-E-E-S. But I'm also getting, you know, it's interesting because I feel like it's a play on the word bee, like just allow things to be. Sometimes when we want things to happen or we're forcing things to happen, um, you know, if we get that, that anxious nerve, like we're not in that state of allowing. Um, I, I feel like I'm just hearing just let something be. And with due time, things will get better. Um, I think it's also not sure of what direction to go in when it comes to possibly work or a move or where you want to travel to. And then I'm also getting love. There may be a decision to make regarding love. There may be a situation, um regarding three people or three business partners. Maybe you're deciding if you want to go out on your own or if you want to stay partnered up with somebody in terms of business. Maybe it's two against one. So let's see what else comes out here. Oh my gosh, the chariot. Wow. So Sagittarius and again, cancer is definitely what I'm getting. And again, we have, we have the fire sign and I feel like you may be pulled in, um, more than one direction. Now, sometimes also the chariot is, uh, you know, in reverse it's, and it's also in the, in the challenge position and it's also in my past position so I feel like there may be a situation where things aren't moving forward or there's a delay because the chariot can be indicative of travel or of a move. So there could be a delay in that. It also can be, again, indecisiveness or inaction. 
I'm getting something also with the back. Um, I'm going to pull another card. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, but I am getting something with the back. And I'm even focused on the back here. Like, uh, feels like, I don't know if somebody's having back issues um, or if they're going to physical therapy. There's lack of movement in something um, or progress is slow. Um, could also be like acupuncture might be helpful, getting a massage, physical therapy. I don't know. I get like there's, you know, there's some kind of rigidness, um, lack of movement. But could also be that somebody is coming into your life um, that may help. Or be offering you something. It could be work. It could be that you're branching off into this, you know, a, another path. But it's slow to develop. This is something, you know, that's going to take some time. It could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or you know, you're you're getting grounded. Like you're. There may be delays, but delays may be coming in for a reason. Yeah. I also feel like, you know, don't allow your thoughts, negative thoughts, or somebody else's negative thoughts to affect you to the point where you're feeling stuck. Okay, this is where I was led to uh, with your reading to just flip this over. Yep, we have the six. The Six of Swords. So, again, feeling stuck, lack of movement. Hmm. I want to pull out this card. Wow. Wow. The Lovers. Now we have two Sixes. Well, you you have some major decisions. I I think it's it's you know one way I'm reading it is that progress may be slow in something, whether it's work, whether it's moving, whether it's in love. I mean, it's definitely I feel for some of you related to love. Gemini may also be of significance. And here, I feel like maybe, again, we've got the number three here. And I, I said this in Cancer, I believe. When I, when we've got the lovers and we have a number three or whatever I'm intuitively picking up, it does not mean infidelity, and I want to explain that. It can mean that there's interference of a third person. It can also mean that somebody may have caught somebody's eye, but nothing's been acted upon. It could also be that somebody from the past is coming back and they're interfering in something. Can it mean that there's a third person and you have a decision to make or that somebody is trying to enter in your life and they have like you're the third person or yes it can mean that especially with the lovers in reverse um so but the lovers also for me th there's decisions to make and there may be some delays i just kept getting delays or blockages where things aren't moving forward. I do feel like they will be, but maybe they're not going to move forward quite as fast as you would like. Let me get some clarification here with the cards, uh, with these little, I love these cards. Okay, what I'm going to do is turn one over here. <laughs> I'm laughing because we have another three. 
And um, we also had the three over here in Cancer's reading. Oh my gosh, we have the six, the same thing. Now we got three sixes. Well, I'll tell you, I think that, first of all, I do feel like it's for some of you, there's a delay in, in an actual move or delay in travel, and it's as simple as that. For others of you, I just feel like you want to feel, you know, like the Empress, and you want to nurture, you want love, and you're having to decide, is, is somebody coming in in May going to be the one? Like if you're single, you may meet somebody in May. If you're paired up with somebody, maybe there's, you know, like you're feeling again, like I picked up in cancer where you're putting in with the energy or you're deciding, do you want to put the energy into this relationship, into this love, into this business partnership or into this business? Um, I think though that Again, the Six of Swords, at least it's in the upright position. So I feel like things are, you know, for quite a few of you, going to start progressing. They're going to start moving. It may be slow to come, but it, it will happen. So just have some patience is kind of what I'm hearing um, in terms of that. But, yes, with time... Things will start moving again. Okay. Um, also, if you are traveling and you're traveling like by car, you know, just make sure, you know, that the tires are filled, that, you know, your oil's been changed. You know, just prepare for the trip because um, there may be something slow going and you just want to make sure the car is ready, especially if you're going long distance. So. Okay, these are just some messages that I'm getting for you. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for watching. All right, take care. Bye.